on June 17, 2015, Dylan Ruff walked into a midweek Bible study. He sat and prayed with the church members before pulling out his gun, killing most, and allowing one to live. After the incident, he was found and arrested peacefully. When Dylan Ruff killed nine innocent black people, we did not question his God. He wore flags of apartheid Africa. We did not question his allegiance. He committed the crime alone. We did not question his people. When Adam Lanza shot a classroom full of first graders at Sandy Hook Elementary, we did not ask him to leave the country. When Timothy McVeigh killed 168 people in Oklahoma, we did not call this a crime against every American. When the KKK killed thousands of black people while swearing to uphold Christian morality, we did not ask them to remove their robes. We did not call all Christians bigots. Do you see it? How we don't label all white men based on the sins of a few? Do you see it? How we don't have to condemn a whole class of people based on the actions of some? Do you see it? How all the names are different? How all the faces are different? How all the people are different? Therefore, we should not condemn all Muslims for the radicalism of a group. If you want to persecute ISIS, go ahead. But to persecute ISIS is to persecute those that gave them power. To persecute those that gave them power is to persecute the U.S. government. Do your research. Islam is not synonymous with terror. It is literally submission. It is devotion. It is peace. Terrorism is actually forbidden, and jihad does not mean holy war. It means struggle. It means survival. It means standing face to face with everything that wants to put you in the ground and choosing to be alive. Do your research and stop listening to CNN. Stop trading humanity for hypocrisy. Stop staring at Muslims in the airport. Stop letting your fear drag you into ignorance. Stop supporting billionaire Republicans who want to scare you into murdering the innocent and start supporting leaders who speak peace in their native tongue. Instead of burning down the mosque, burn down the walls around the pulsating muscle in your chest and realize that we all have one. And lastly, as, As the, the customary, customary greeting goes, goes Assalamu alaikum. alaikum, peace be upon you. Wa alaikum assalam, and upon you be peace. Do you see it?